A federal judge is temporarily blocking a gun rights organization from publishing blueprints for 3D printed guns. A group of eight Democratic state attorneys general sued to stop Texas based Defense Distributed after it uploaded designs for untraceable plastic firearms. The company had legally published the blueprints last Friday after reaching a settlement with the U.S. government. In an interview only on CBS This Morning, Tony DeCoppel met the founder of Defense Distributed to find out why he's fighting to distribute potentially dangerous information. Tony joins us now. This is quite a story. Quite a story. Uh, he's quite an individual. For Cody Wilson, this is all very, very simple. He believes that everyone in America has a right to build their own gun arsenal at home. In 2013, he built the world's first working plastic firearm, and now he's fighting to publish gun designs online, including AR-15 style rifles and handguns, so everyone else can build them on their own. Now, we spoke to Wilson hours before that judge's ruling came down, but he was clear with us. He believes he's already won. I believe that I am championing the Second Amendment in the 21st century. I look at the NRA and other and you groups. You think that's good for the safety of Americans? You think that's good for American families? You think that's good yeah, for American yeah. streets? You think that's good for America? Yeah, I think unquestionably it's good for the future. Unquestionably. Wow, walk me through that. I think access to the firearm is a fundamental human dignity. It's a fundamental human right. Cody Wilson's dream of a downloadable library of gun blueprints and a world where anyone can easily manufacture a deadly weapon at home stalled Tuesday. A Seattle judge blocked Wilson from publishing new gun files. What will you do about 3D guns? And questioned whether the Trump administration should have granted his company permission in the first place. It makes no damn sense, no damn sense at all uh, to make those available. Washington State's Bob Ferguson, who led the lawsuit by eight attorneys general, argued that 3D printed plastic weapons are dangerous because they're untraceable, often undetectable, and require no background check. What I'm doing is legally protected. I will go to the appellate level. I will go to the Supreme Court. I will waste all my time. Wilson already published 10 blueprints as of last Friday, and the AR-15 schematics alone have been downloaded thousands of times. There is nothing good that can come with Defense Distributed uploading these files. Poe Murray is chairwoman of Newtown Action Alliance, a gun control group created after the massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary. It's a dangerous, slippery slope into our future, and our laws and our policies have to keep up with the changing advancements in technology. The future is simply digital fabrication. Wilson argues that it's already impossible to police 3D gun technology, and he believes he has a free speech right to publish the designs. I'm talking about files. I'm not talking about the guns. I'm not a licensed gun manufacturer. I don't make guns at this location. I have data. I can share the data. When somebody downloads a gun from your website with your blueprints and kills somebody with it, how are you going to feel personally? I don't believe that I provided you anything other than the general knowledge of what an AR-15 is. But to fund his legal fight, Wilson's company does sell these milling machines. They come preloaded with design files that allow anyone to make their own AR-15 or 1911 handgun in about two days. No serial number and no screening. They retail for $2,000 and there's a three-month backlog. Defense Distributed is still winning this legal battle, to be clear. Andy Greenberg is with Wired Magazine and has followed Wilson since 2012. He says in the long run, Tuesday's ruling is insignificant compared to the agreement Wilson already reached with the federal government. Defense Distributed now has the ability to post whatever files they want, and no one has successfully been able to stop them permanently from doing that. What makes you comfortable with a world where people can pump out guns in their garage anytime they want to? What's going to make me comfortable is when people stop coming to this office and, and acting like there's a debate about it. The debate is over. The guns are downloadable. The files are in the public domain. You cannot take them back. You can adjust your politics to this reality. You will not ask me to adjust mine. Now, Cody Wilson says he does follow all required laws and regulations and even screens people who are looking to buy his milling machines. Under the court order, he can't publish any new blueprints until September at the earliest. Now, I think the big news here is that milling machine. It is essentially a shrunken down gun factory for your home. Wow. Right. The NRA is not backing him. Not backing him because he takes the files and pumps them out at home. No need to go to a gun shop. No need to pay a company. No, so, gun, ma ma gun manufacturers don't benefit from milling machines at people's homes. He has a tombstone outside of his office, just to be very clear about what his mission is. And on that tombstone, it says American gun control. Wow. Tony, thanks.